Hi, I would like to speak today about how to save your time by using a proper library. I'll start with an empty project and I use firstly I, I use a generic part. This is generic library generic resistor part and as you can see it is no manufacturer information, no manufacturer part number, supplier, nothing and basically what a lot of people or many people do is just copy and place and then they just change the value now what will happen now? I'll annotate the schematic R1, R2, R3 and uh, I'll generate bill of materials initially we see only one resistor and I remove the grouping now here are tr three resistors basically because there is no information if I generate a bomb there is no useful information as you can see nothing now what we basically done we placed a generic symbol resistor we just changed the value and now let's see what what we will need to do in future first we need to check the schematic symbol if uh, if the pins are ok, pin names, pin numbers then later when we generate bomb as we could see there is no information in the symbol then later when we generate bomb we need to find manufacturer product number it's the exact number which is used when you when you uh, persage the component again later during the schematic to PCB transfer we need to find the datasheet and uh, create the footprint and check the footprint and later again when somebody is going to purchase the components they will contact us and ask for supplier and possibly supplier part number then we need to open the datasheet again go to supplier pages and uh, compare our uh, product number with, uh, with the supplier database and answer this question to the per searching department and what will happen with next design we need to repeat all these steps again now let's do it by using proper library this is my library and for example we can place 10k resistor can place uh, 100 nanocapacitor and uh, 10 pico when we have a look on the component there are already parameters see there is digikey part number manufacturer manufacturer part number price and some others why these parameters are there and why it's useful to have it there show you now I annotate the schematic I 
going to and I'm going to generate the bomb. As you can see, there is already more information. And uh, here I select the parameters what are what what are used in the components because I want to use these parameters in my template. This is my template. I'll explain a little bit later. key part number manufacturer manufacturer part number package price that's it now let's have a look on our document and as you can see now it generates automatically the proper document I don't need to care about anything. I just send this document to Persaching department and based on this document they are able to order the components without asking me any other questions. As you can see there is category, manufacturer, manufacturer part number, package, description, digikey part number, price and quantity. What are the steps when you are using proper library Simba? You need to create symbol for each individual component. It means different symbol for 10k, different symbol for 100k. You need to add parameters to each component. These parameters are, are for example, manufacturer, manufacturer part number, price, and the others. You need to create and add footprint and check symbol and footprint. This takes some time comparing just to change the value, but there are benefits of doing this. Because then you can just simply generate the bomb without doing anything else. You can simply generate, for example, per searching document without spending any more time on the components. And in the next design, you can just very simply reuse the component and you don't need to do anything from this again. You just simply reuse the component. There is one disadvantage of this method and it's that some of the created components may not be used in the final design. It means you spend some time with creating a symbol which is not used. and uh, it may look like wasted time but it is not because comparing to, the, to this time you will save a lot just see the advantages saves your time you don't need to go through data sheets million times it means in this case you just change the value yeah? and then later you need to generate BOM it means you need to go find the data sheet, find the manufacturing manufacturer product number uh, and add it to the bomb. Later when you transfer your schematic to PCB, again you need to find the data sheet, find the footprint in the data sheet, create the footprint and check the footprint. And after everything is done, uh, you will get an email from Persaching and they will ask you for a supplier uh, component number because they don't know they can find it and you need to go uh, again to your data sheet or to your uh, to the supplier web page and find the uh, find the supplier number there saves you from distraction you will not get continuous requests from per searching department that's what I was saying Imagine you have 100 components, 100 different components in your design and one day they ask you about one component, next day about next component and you need to interrupt your work, you need to go to the supplier web page, find the information, interruption uh, may take like 15 minutes or even half an hour and it minimizes mistakes because once the component is used in design it's safe to use it 
again without checking. It means in this case you don't need to recheck the components again because you are sure it's ok. In this case what may very easily happen is a uh, pin may be wrong or footprint may be wrong. And in next design you need to do it again. In this design you just do it once and then use it as many times as you want. And therefore even if you don't use a component what you create here you still save a lot of time. And creating creating proper uh, proper component uh, doesn't take uh, s doesn't take a lot of time. I'll show you now how, how I'm creating the new component. Originally I thought uh, everything about the libraries will fit into one 15 minutes video but <laughs> it, it didn't fit. Then uh, if you are interested how to create a library then uh, watch the uh, second part of this video.